Hello everyone and welcome inside this video. Today we are going to explore how to shoot bullets. In this tutorial we are going to need a couple of things. First of all, a bullet. In this case I'm using a simple sphere and we need a color so that we can see that better, a material, and a rigid body. A sphere collider is, your, is also needed. Uh, we will need the gravity activated and all the rest uh, set as normal, basically. We need a simple game object, empty game object, empty game object as our emitter. We will need a plane or, uh, or not. I, I, I suggest you to use it. And obviously a camera for seeing everything and all the rest. We need uh, mainly a uh, script, in this case shooting, and we have to attach this script to our emitter. The emitter is usually at the end of our of a gun or a place where we want to shoot something and we are going to explore the script. Let's open it and here is everything we need in this case. We need a game object, in this case a bullet, this is a reference to shooting the bullets and instantiate also other bullets. We need the speed, this is a little bit low, I, I made this as public so that we can modify and edit this from the editor, in fact it's higher, it's something like 500 or 1000, I don't remember exactly, in the editor. We can... Uh, delete this start i still left it it's, it doesn't matter and then there is an update in this case we are checking for our spacebar for shooting and every time we press the spacebar we instantiate an object in this case we instantiate an object uh we instantiate a bullet in the transform dot position so we place a bullet a new bullet in the emitter position with a, simp a normal rotation, same rotation, and we instantiate this as a game object. So we can have a reference called inst bullet. This means that every bullet that we create and instantiate will be called insta bullet, and we can access it in immediately. This is just a temporary reference, but we can still use it for taking the rigid body inside the bullet and we can call it like this insta bullet rigid body and here we add the speed we add the force vector free dot forward this means that we are going in the forward direction and the speed that we set up earlier in this case everything is going to be kind of smooth if we need a couple of uh, a couple of bullets i suggest if you need a lot of bullets to add something here for deleting uh, after a while all the bullets but in this case as a beginner tutorial is going to be fine returning to our editor we need something here. We need to place the sphere or our bullet to the bullet place and modify the speed to something we want. The method here is uh, kind of is useful, but I suggest you to not use this method for uh, high frequency shooting because uh, you're going to run in a few problems if you emit too many objects with uh, a rigid body. In this case the sphere has a rigid body and we are giving the speed to our rigid body. When there are a lot of rigid body the FPS uh, drop, so the game will, will lag a lot. In fact all the high level games use uh, uh, raycast and other methods to shoot, but for 2D games and uh, games with a few bullets and with particular type of bullets, this method is great. Let's play and let's see how it goes. In this case, the bullet we had here, 
fall, fell into the ground because there are there is no force keeping it up or moving it, so it fell to the ground and stays there. Now we can press the spacebar and shoot a bullet like this, and we can press as many times as we want, and a bullet is going to be shot. Thank you for being here. I hope you liked this video. Leave a comment below, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye.